it's Megan from Grim Planner and I have a haul for you guys today. Um, I have been kind of stacking up on this. I placed a lot of orders in April um, and this is probably only a portion of what I've ordered so I just figured I would go ahead and get this video done um, right now. So I have quite a few um, new to me shops and then of course some of um, shops that I've used quite frequently. So let's go ahead and just jump in. So first up, we'll go um, through my Simply Gilded. Um, since this doesn't have any like really sticker cuts or anything, it's just washi in here. So little freebie bow that comes with it. And then this little journal card that says love you always with a couple of llamas, alpacas. I don't really know. So um, I have talked about not really being really into the whole washi thing, but I've kind of gotten into it lately. And so I picked up a few that I've been eyeballing for a while um, at Simply Gilded, so I'll go ahead and show those to you. I got these moon ones, which I think will be a lot of fun for like the entire month of October. And then I got these skull ones, also I think will be fun for the month of October. I got, I'm trying to see which all of these. Yep, I've got some of these just like gold lace on black and on white. I've got these, um, I've got these star, I can't remember exactly what they were called on the site, but just they're like um, in different colors for these stars. We've got pink, like a pinkish, orange, yellow, green, blue, and a purple, which seems a little more difficult to see, but I, th I love um, adding black to spreads just to kind of dull things down. Um, it's one of the reasons I really like Let's Plan It. She includes a lot of black in her spreads, so I just think this will be fun, especially for like moon kits or nighttime kits to just add like a little pop of color without having to do foil. And I actually really love the size of these four headers. And then I got some um, Valentine's ones that I'll just probably use for whenever, and these are in silver. And then I did get these simple bows that are perforated. And then I got this, and I cannot remember the name of this one off the top of my head either, but it's black with some like rose gold um, foil. So that was everything from Simply Gilded. This next shop is the Prancing Doxy. I've had this order for a while. Um, this was supposed to be part of my April haul, but it didn't come in in time. So I've just been holding on to it. Although I have used a couple of stickers from it. So first you get this cute little um, postcard with little um, freebies on it with some stickers. Those are cute little spring style stickers. And then I think this was from the Subculture Syndicate sale. So I've got some freebies from other shops. We've got Bumble, Bumbleina Doodles. This is another little freebie from the Prancing Doxy. I love this little cat guy. And this one is from Broom Closet Crafting. So cute, look at all the little black cats. Another little freebie from the Prancing Doxy, and I actually used these recently. They're all individual stickers, and I have another sheet of them of moon phases, and I use these as like uh, bullet points in my um, my blackout when I was doing some tarot journaling. And then we've got this freebie here from Organized Magic, little cauldron. The hippie goth, we've just got some little circles with skulls on them. Skulls are my favorite. I actually think, I told this to my husband yesterday, who's not real excited here, but I think I'm gonna start collecting skulls, like animal skulls and all that kind of stuff. I just, I like skulls. That's just who it is. Um, Wilson Wild Sticker Co. And this one is from Season Inc. Look at her. I actually just recently started following her, and so um, I really like her style of doing stuff. I love these kind of like darker takes on things. It's kind of my style. 
And then Corsa's Creations, I did pick up stickers from her. That was my last haul also from the Subculture Syndicate sale. And then this is the order from Prancing Doxy. Something is missing. Oh, there it is. I thought I moved it. So I just got this cute little die cut, this little witchy in um, this like rainbow style. And I just picked up a uh, personal wide rings from Print Pressions that's on its way. So I am excited to be able to start using that. It's the first time I've ever done a rings like that. I've always had the coil from Erin Condren. Well, it's not true. I had a passion planner, didn't like it. Switch the Erin Condren. I picked up my second Erin Condren this year, but I'm really excited about this rings for like daily stuff. Um, because my Erin Condren is kind of like memory planning, but I really think of it as like journal planning. Like I write down what I did for the day, but I don't go that far back. So it's not quite memory planning. I don't know. That's just how I consider it. It's more like journal planning. Uh, so this little sheet here, as you can see, I've used a couple of them for Beltane. This is um, a sheet of Sabbath's The Wheel of the Year. Um, I've never heard it called Lamas. I mean, I'm very new to the world of um, the different Sabbaths and stuff like that. I've heard it as Lunasa, and I think it's the same thing. So, yeah, we've got um, Mabon, Samhain, Litha, Yule, and Bulk. So, I'm excited to continue using these. Um, I've been, there's two of each. So, I used one in my calendar spread and then one in my, um, on the week, the day that it was. So, May 1st was Beltane. And then I've just got some, uh, like a little sampler sheet here of just a bunch of different things. We've got some different sized tarot cards. We've got... Um, some books of shadows and just some other little things that I thought would be kind of fun and cute to add into some of my spreads and then I picked up some um, different tarot cards um, I've been into the bigger icons lately so it's been nice to have these bigger ones especially right now when I've got nothing going on in my life because I don't leave my house so got a couple of those oh that must be it I thought I had more so yeah, that is everything from the Prancing Doxy. Next up, we've got Nicole Alexia Designs. I've had this one for a little while yet. Um, I think I picked those up from her birthday sale. I don't quite remember what sale this was. I know I picked it up during a sale. I just don't remember which one it was. So this is a little freebie that I got. And then I picked up this foil. And have you ever picked up foil for a very specific kit? Like, and it wasn't a Nicole Alexia design kit, but I have a kit in mind for this, and now I can't remember which kit it was. So I've got to figure out what I got these for, but I got some gold foil. And then I got this, uh, like, Dark Flowers. I don't know what the name of this kit was. This one is Brave, but I don't remember what the name of this one was. So I just loved, I loved the black and gold. Oh, be still my heart. It's so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. So we've got full boxes, icon scripts, um, half boxes, quarter boxes, glitter headers, and bottom washi. I do get the kits. I think they're mini kits. I don't know if they're mini or what exactly they call them, but I do get the mini kits because I don't need all of the checklists. So, and then this one is brave so fun i don't tend to be i don't tend to um gravitate towards a lot of blues but i did think this was a really fun kit um so i decided to pick it up i am trying to break out of my comfort zone a bit so again full boxes and she this is new a uh, newer style of like a lot of foil like extra foil and her layout is different now so so pretty this shop is completely new to me, Chic Blossom Prints. Um, I apologize, it looks really washed out. I mean, the colors are really, really, really light. Um, and I just tried adjusting, I closed my window to see if that would help, um, help it show up better. But I guess, like especially this one, it's really light. Even on person, it's really light looking. So um, we'll just go ahead and do this. So as I said, it was Chic Blossom Prints, this little rewards card that came with it. And then some freebies. So we got like, this is like your home together, work from home. This is from the PPS sale. I don't remember which one that was. 
There's so many of them. And then we've got just some other little freebies. Oh, those eyelashes are so cute. And her name is Fallon. I love that name. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. So I picked up this Moon Rose kit. I am a sucker for a moon kit. Um, if you've been, if you've seen some of my plan with me's or on Instagram, because I haven't done a lot of plan with me's recently, um, the week of a full moon, I like to do a kit with a moon in it. So, um, this week is a kit from, kit just simply called Moon from Nicole Alexia Designs for the flower moon, which this would have worked as well but I will find another use for it on another full moon. It's, we've got so many more to go. Um, but yeah, I loved this. It says, who says you cannot hold the moon in your hands? So we've got just really soft, delicate colors with silver foil, it's so pretty. We've got your littles, some appointment labels, some scripts. Oh, this is cute, these little boxes here. So just gray, pink, and like a really cool grayish blue. Icons. Bottom washi. This was probably, I think I could just only buy like a one kit. I don't know that she had any other options. So this has the checklist, full boxes, and glitter headers. That is glitter. Wow. So you have that is my order from so that's my order from chic blossom prints this next shop i'm probably going to 100 percent butcher it because it's french i do not speak french um i know a bit of spanish french is a mystery to me uh but it's um blue papery so i think that's supposed to be blue papery so i just thought this little style of doing it is so cute this is like totally original to me. I haven't seen this yet um, in any other ones. You know, you get really cute envelopes and whatnot, but I just thought this was really fun. You fold up these little folders and then everything is in here. So here is what I got from them. These are a couple of the freebies. This is all deco stuff. I decided to really start using my calendar spreads starting this month, the month of May. Um, I'm using it to put in like uh, happy moments from that day. Um, I could call it a fucking hooray for that day. Or if I don't have anything really to say, then I can do like a quote or a positive affirmation or something like that. But I want to be able to decorate them more. So I did pick up some more decorative type stickers also to use in my, um, my tarot journal. And then of course I've got my, um, PP, my, not PP weeks, my, uh, personal wide rings coming in, um, which will have some stickers, but it'll be minimal stickers. So I'm really glad I stocked up in a bunch of like deco stuff. So here are some freebies. Love this. So pretty. This was from a sale. I don't remember which, um, a lot of like new to me shops I find during those big sales. And I spend a lot of time, I don't know if other people do this, but I spend a lot of time like laying in bed, waiting to fall asleep, scrolling through Instagram, like if it's like the Planner Boss Collective or the Made in Canada collab, like all those different ones. And I look at the shops and I usually scroll and I can usually get an idea if they put like a couple different images of what you can expect from their shop. Um, and I can usually tell if I would be really into it. I don't tend to like a lot of like the kawaii style designs. Um, so if I see a lot of that, I might pass. Or if there's something that just brings me to it, I'll go and click in and I'll scroll. And then I take screenshots of the um, shops that I would like to shop during the actual sale. It's in depth, but that's how I work. So we've got these just lemon and the greenery. So pretty. I love yellow. And I've got these ones. It's, you've got a lot of like kind of witchy symbols here with the pentacle. Um, and the moon and the eye. This kind of tropical deserty style, so pretty. Skulls. And I did pick up a bigger one of this. 
these did have a specific names and I can't remember this you could get in French or in English and I got it's only in the dark of night that you can see the stars I love this so gorgeous and then this last one these are probably great for like the fall time although they're grapefruit so you could use it through summer too they're just like deeper richer reds so love that so that is everything from blueberry pipetterie am I saying that right I hope so this is another new to me shop from little spark design um also picked up during a sale and these are little freebies that come with it so we've got these little baby yoda stickers i won't use these um i have some friends that aren't planner people but they i have a friend who might really like having these little baby yodas and she might be willing to put them on one of her notebooks or something she does plan but she's like a classic college rule notebook type planner that's that's where she keeps all of her stuff her organization and whatnot um but she might like these like she's gonna come over in a little while we're gonna sit outside on my deck and social distance and eat cake from my husband's birthday party the birth not birthday party it was just the birthday of just the two of us but he made two cakes so we have plenty of cake so yes little baby yodas and that's the little, that's the Mandalorian. Is that, is this the Mandalorian? I haven't watched it. Is this a Mandalorian? I don't know why I'm asking like I expect an answer this moment, but I'm guessing. And then this one is from Hello Happiness Co. Oh, this was the Ultimate Planner Sale. So that's where I picked up these. And this is from Roy Sweet Addictions. Sticker Monster. Paper Loving Mommy. Sticky Situations Co. And Bean Sprout Paper Co. Um, probably a lot of these. I had a ton of freebies at one time because I was constantly buying from sales. And now I have more freebies. Last year I had so many freebies. Um, so probably the majority of these will end up in a little bag that I like to do a giveaway with. Um... Maybe soon. I'm almost to a I'm almost to 200 Instagram followers. So maybe when I reach that, I might do a sale. Um, I can kind of give you a little sneak. I have this bag right now that I am filling up with um, just uh, samplers and freebies that I get that I probably won't use or that I know I won't use. So I like to spread the love around and send those out. So as you can see, I've got a very fall kit here. <laughs> I was like, I love it. I'm ready for it. So it, I know we've just like hit spring, but I did see this and I thought this would really be really fun as like a November kit um, or even like a nice transition into October. Um, I might actually, I might not use it in September. I have a lot of like very dark Halloween, but not really Halloween-y, but just like darker aesthetic type kits. Um, so I might stretch those starting from like mid-September, but we'll see. Um, part of me doesn't also, like, I like to plan for the seasons, but sometimes I'm just like in a mood and I need it to be something else. I need it to not be like super colorful, but okay, we'll see what happens. So anyway, back to this little spark design. A little fall one so full boxes bottom washi appointment labels half boxes flags sidebars littles checklist and that is it so that is my order from little spark design this is my um april color club from glam planner as I've said, I've been meaning to cancel this. I finally did. I think I will still get for the month of May, but then after that, it should be completely canceled. Um, and I've gotten to this point of opening them where I'm like, oh, I just don't need another kit that I don't want to use. But I really enjoy this one. Um, I love the lemons. I love the colors. It's muted. It's not too in your face. So I really appreciate this one. So there's the full boxes. So this is just meant to be like a bunch of functionals. Um... And that's why it does not come with bottom washi, which there is more than enough to make this like a full 
like you could, I mean, there's so much here. You could probably easily spread this through two weeks, if not more, um, especially if you are a white space planner and like this sheet won't use. I barely use these sheets, um, but definitely not this sheet. So it was nice for a while to be able to have a bunch of different colors, but now I just feel overwhelmed. And so I'm going to be getting rid of a bunch of these um, color clubs, but not this one because I really like the colors in this one. These kits are from the Planner Co. Um, shop, and I believe this is a new to me shop. I'm almost positive I don't have anything else from her. Um, something feels familiar, but I really don't think I have purchased anything. Maybe I've just looked at it a lot, but I haven't purchased anything. So this here we've got just a little freebie that's got a couple of little girl holding a book and just some little a purse watch and whatnot this kit here is eucalyptus and I think I don't know if, if doing foil is new for her I can't remember but um I did think this was gorgeous which I've been trying to decide I was trying to plan my kits out for the month of May and I just was like I just don't know so many of them seem more summery than springy um, but I do think this one will make its make its debut in the next couple weeks or so. So I definitely think I'll be using this one this month. So full boxes, half and quarter, bottom washi, little things and headers, deco, weekend banners and glitter headers. So that is eucalyptus. And then we've got anemone. So pretty, I love this. I like this dusty purple. This green is a bit washed out in here. It looks really, like a really soft green, but it's a bit more colorful in person. Um, maybe just a couple steps lighter than like a sage. So not foiled. Ooh, nope, still one more. And that is it from the Planner Co. shop. This is my second order from Pumpkin Paper Co. I love her little characters. They're so cute. Um, even her minis are, at first I was like, I think her minis are still too big for my planning style. But again, I've been a bit more into the bigger um, icons and characters, so it kind of works. So I went ahead and just went a little bit hog wild um on her shop recently i think in the beginning of april so you've got this cute little postcard and here we go we've got some of these little sleepy taras grilling ones because it's summertime traveling um, baking, cooking, this is cooking. I could use these ones for like nap time. I think I have quite a bit of nap um, stickers, but I like napping stickers, so. Pool ones, my parents have a pool and I imagine I'll be spending a lot of time there this summer. Especially if we have to continue social distancing. I will be doing a lot of time social distancing in their pool, even away from them. They don't have to be out there with me. I've got a couple of these doing makeup because I need to start doing my makeup again just for the fun of it, just to make me feel better. We've got some planning stickers, little planner girl with glasses, reading, so cute. This is kind of like bad day to press stickers. So when I purchase these, this is terrible. When I purchased these, I'd been I'd just gotten a call from my parents saying they didn't think my grandmother was gonna make it. Um, she wasn't doing really well. And then like a few days later, it was like, she changed her mind. She wasn't dying after all. Um, so I was like, I have a feeling I'm gonna be feeling a lot of this coming up soon, but she's doing just fine now. So she's eating and drinking and everything like that. And they were saying, you know, as the elderly, when they get older and they're getting close to passing on and they may stop doing certain things like eating and drinking well again like I said it's like she changed her mind 
and decided she wasn't dying. So she is still with us, doing just fine. On the laptop, and then biking. So that is my pumpkin, that is my pumpkin paper co order. All right, as always, I save in my mind the best for last. Let's plan it. Unable to quit as I am just too legit. I am very excited because I have a bunch of her different ones of these little journaling cards and they're so soft. They have like this coating, I don't know. Um, but I think these will be really fun to put in my um, personal week's ring is coming in. So I ordered two different sales. I cannot remember for life. One of them was a made in Canada. And then I don't remember if it was just like a new release sale or if it was a birthday sale. I can't remember for the life of me. Um, but she, I purchased from two different sales. So I actually have two of these cards and she sweetly held on to them until, cause she had one sale the one week and then the following week was made in Canada. And so she combined them and sent them all at once. So those just came in and I was so excited. And as you can see, it's kind of a thicker order. I mean, not as thick as I've seen some people, but this is pretty big for me. I think this might be the biggest, um, especially, I guess combined, but two biggest orders I've placed with her. So very excited. Let's show some freebies. I hope you can read this. It says social distancing, back that ass up. So that will be fun. I've got to figure out what I'm going to put that on. But I do like that little window cling, little vinyl there. And then here is April's freebie. I didn't see anyone today, so I'm wearing this again tomorrow. What day is it anyway? I want to pause adulting and lower the difficulty. This is um, Amy from Simply Beautiful Plans. This is her freebie that I ordered. And then this is from the Made in Canada freebie. I love this like watermelony colors that she has going on here. So life is better in flip flops, summer state of mind, very excited. And then I got a little freebie from Sugar Lemon Paper Co. All right, let's just jump into it. First things first, this is the June monthly. All of my monthlies this year are LPI. So very excited for this one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then she had a couple of new things kind of going on, which I really like. Um, this, let me find the other one. Let's just do this. Yeah, that works. So we've got a couple, we've got a summer and a spring list. Um, this is like your bucket list style and then there's pictures. So you've got like tie dye shirts or barbecue, popsicles, visit a park, make lemonade. I just think these will be fun to decorate like monthly spreads with like the monthly view. So I picked up her summer list and her spring list and I was waiting for these to come in so I could see this. So then I could tell Brittany, you need to do this for all different kinds of themes because I think this is awesome. Um, you know, not just summer and spring and winter and fall, but like here's a beach one, here's a park one, here's like a like theme park one, all that kind of stuff, date night, stuff like that I think would be really fun to be able to like add to all different kinds of things. So I did that and then she had these like washi, and I thought I had, no, nope, just these two. Um, I was like kind of hesitant at first. I got summer and spring washi. I was like, what am I gonna use these for? But I thought if I was like, let me grab my planner. Hmm, my computer's on it. So I thought if there was a day, like if I was gonna be gone for a weekend, I guess it doesn't quite necessarily work, but we can see. Um, like this would cover like two days. So it like I could put this down and it's like to mark a vacation. And then I can add a little something over to like the Sunday 
or if we were gonna be gone for longer than that, I like to do long weekends, then this fits over three days. Um, so that's kind of what I had in mind for those. I know she'd also mention about like, you can put them this way and in your sidebar, do like a checklist and then you can have all your little checklist things here. So she was talking about all different kinds of fun ways. Like I said, I kind of thought to myself, that would be fun to mark like um, weekends that were away. I'm trying to figure out a place to put my planner now. Um, yeah, like I, hopefully, I have to still book it, but hopefully we're gonna go up to Mackinac Island sometime this summer. I've been asking my husband to go for probably like four years now. And he said, out of the blue, I think when all is, all is said and done, and we can start traveling and doing stuff again, we should go to Mackinac Island. And I was like, sold, because I haven't been there since I was a teenager and I've only been there once. And he said we could stay on the island, which I'm so excited for. If you don't know, Mackinac Island is a little island in Northern Michigan. Um, I think it's technically in Lake Huron. And it is like, an, like you go up there, they don't allow cars um on the island so no cars you can bike you can horse ride um or walk it's not that big i think it's like a two mile bike ride i could be completely wrong around the island so it's not terribly big but they do all kinds of fun stuff and they have like a little, little shopping area and um they have the grand hotel which was featured in a movie somewhere in time which had christopher reeves i believe in it and my mom loves that movie so she made me watch it when i was younger so yeah, I'm just so excited and I figured I think we'll take a long weekend or even do it in the beginning of the week as opposed to like the weekend where it's less busy. And so that's the first thing I had in mind when I saw these was I could make this go over several days to act as like I'm marking our vacation days. So that is for those. And then we've got kits here. So this first kit is Lily, which you know, she names them after girl names. And I'm like, she should have named it Lemon. And somebody's like, Lemon's not a girl's name. If you watch Harder Dixie, it sure as shit is a girl's name. Lemon Breland. Because there are apparently lemon flowers. So here are the headers. Um, I ordered an extra one just for the extra glitter headers. And then we've got your full boxes. And this color is not coming off, but it's like a really pale, dusty mauve, maybe. Um, she might have said lavender. It doesn't look lavender to me. It looks more of like mauve, but like really light and really dusty. And we've got scripts, half boxes and quarter boxes, and then your bottom washi and date covers. This kit. I love it. All the blacks. Felicia, as I said earlier, she does a lot of kits using black, which I love. So... Um, I tend to pick those up. This does have like a, these are more on the green side, but again, like this is green, but it all comes out looking really black or gray. So, so much fun. So you've got all these dark colors, white, and then this apricot. I like this green here. Do you pronounce it apricot or apricot? Apricot, apricot. I did get the bonus sheet because I wanted these. So I wanted more headers. This kit is Danielle. Still going, okay. So we've got Danielle, much more rustic, like a rustic floral kind of kit. Kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. Oh, I love her paper, it's so soft. I used to be glossy, like glossy paper, glossy kits all the time. And then I became obsessed with premium matte, which I discovered through Let's Plan It. And I, sometimes I'm, I'll be looking at shops and I'm like, oh what kind of paper because it says like matte and I don't know if it's like matte matte like if everybody puts it as premium matte or if it's just as matte and glossy is it matte and like premium matte and glossy I don't know so I will often message <laughs> shops and be like is your matte premium matte or is it just matte matte because I feel like the color payoff in premium matte is just phenomenal so 
Oh, I love that bottom. That bottom washi is so pretty. And then the deco sheets. So much fun. And then just this little bonus again. I might even see if there's some girls in the LPI Facebook group that want like the rest of this and I'll just keep these. <laughs> And then I think this is the last kit I purchased. And then I bought a bunch of other little things. So this is Mia. Be like the sea, wild and free. I love green. Love, love, love green. I was thinking when I picked this up, we're hoping to go to Mexico next year. I don't know, or not Mexico, either like Costa Rica or the Dominican. I haven't decided um, for like a beach all-inclusive vacation. And I was planning on using this one for that, but who knows now? Like there's just so much uncertainty and it drives me crazy because I'm kind of like anal about planning and I need to know what's happening and I need to have a plan for everything. And so for everything to just be up in the air is driving me insane. Like even we've got two concerts this summer and I'm pretty certain one of them will be canceled because it's in July. Um, fingers crossed, the one in August is the Hella Mega um, with Fall Out Boy, Weezer, and Green Day. Um, I'm hoping that that one goes on because it's in August and hopefully they'll have figured some stuff out by then. But who knows, that could be canceled too. So, <sighs> But it's driving me nuts because I just need to know. I want this stuff written down in my planners. And there's the deco. And then I put, picked up a bunch of deco sh deco sheets, deco sheets from other kits to use for my now new thing of monthly spreads. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if she does a monthly spread using these colors, maybe July or August. Um, so I did pick up this deco sheet, um, but I might use it regardless or like in one of my memory. So at the end of each month, I go back and I print pictures off of what happened that month. So this might be fun just to do in one of the months with like, if we can get, the family can get back together and we can barbecue and stuff out at my parents' house. This is from her July, one of her July Valentine's Day kits. She also did the same thing for the monthly spread. So I picked this up and I'm gonna go back and decorate that one. And this one was for March. So I can go back and do that one. This is for the month of May. And then last but not least is, excuse me, um, Blackout. So this is for the Blackout um, Archer and Olive notebook that I have. And so as you can see, it's all in black like outline and then the letters are white. So she that she only did a couple of blackout things. I think she's working on more of them. Um, but I did pick these up so I could use that while I'm journaling in my tarot journal. So that was my very large, very extensive order from Lance Planet. And I'm already like, you know what? I need some like custom scripts done, especially for my new planner. And I have no chill. It just is what it is. But yeah. That's just some of it. So that is all of the stuff I have for this haul. Um, you know, we're all just doing what we can to stay sane during this these difficult times. And for me, that means online shopping. Now, of course, as I always love to do, but now I just get to put it all away and organize it. And that just makes me feel good. So. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I will have another one for you probably within the next few weeks or probably early June, fingers crossed, as long as everything is in. Um, it's a hard thing. Some of them I've ordered from like Europe and those are taking longer than normal, I even think now. But of course we know that that's the case with the situation we're in. Anyway, I'm gonna go. It was nice chatting with you guys. If you are not already doing so, please follow me on Instagram at Grim Planner. And I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye.